Yeah, I was particularly pleased with him this morning. He, he worked with a horse who's usually got a little bit too much speed for him, and he was he was bang there, you know, breeze really well. Really pleased with him. How excited are you ahead of Saturday? Yeah, it's it's look, it's very exciting. You try and keep you know keep it calm, keep it simple, but it's it's yeah, really really looking forward to it. He hasn't run since July. How have you kept him ticking over? And are you, are you pleased with his preparation up to now? Yeah, yeah. He he. I just felt that he needed a bit more time. You know, the ledger was always a target for him, and having um, you know, having had this sort of, you know, what was it? We had four, probably four runs. Newmark was his fourth run of the year, and I just felt it was good to give him some time, and it's worked out. He's put a bit more top line on. He's got stronger, so you know, he hasn't really missed a day. We've kept him going. Short break after Newmarket, but everything's gone according to plan. And do you think this this step up in trip, the ground will suit him? Yeah, I think the ground's going to be fine. Um, and the trip is good, he's bred for it, so yeah, he's, he's ticking those boxes for sure. And jockey-wise, your usual partner, Jamie Spencer, won't be, won't be riding him on Saturday, why is that? Yeah, very disappointing that, that Jamie can't ride him on Saturday, he's been claimed to ride in, in Toronto uh, for um, Aidan O'Brien and Mr Hay, and that's, that's fair enough, he has a relationship with them first and foremost. Uh, but disappointing, but we've been very lucky to get Adam Kirby to ride him, who's you know just doing so well at the moment and riding with such confidence. He's a real professional. It's great to have him on board. And do you think he'll suit the horse his style? I think so. Yeah, he's you know he's quite a big horse. There's a lot of him, um, and I think he'll he'll suit Adam. He's got a nice uh, way of getting horses into a rhythm. You've had some huge winners across the world throughout your career. What will it mean to train your first classic winner? It would, um, if it happens, it would mean an awful lot. It'd be. be um, Another box ticked, you know, it's kind of how you do it when you've been lucky enough to train at the, at the level I've been lucky enough to train at, then you, you, you have a bucket list and uh, certainly an, a, an English classic is one of them.